Well, this is an LDC 822 uh, frequency counter made in the USA, and I'm going to be checking the accuracy of the Power Zapper My Plus. And I forget how you can move this over a decimal, but if it's right on the hertz for the frequency, you know, it's that's accurate. I'm sure I can do some setting to move it over like it's in kilohertz. So that's 72 hertz because it's point. But for the purposes of this exercise, it's going to show you it's plenty accurate enough. So there's 72 hertz. That's the first frequency of this mode, Rife Mode 1A. And then I'm just going to hide. This is I did put this in the spreadsheet because it's a little easier to see what the frequencies are. This is uh, Rife Mode 1B 786. So we click on the. This might be kind of boring, but yeah, there it is. 786, 780, yeah, 786 when it settles down. Um, then we go to the beginning of Rife Mode 2, which is going to be. 500 that'll be the next one so we click the mode button on again just trying to show you this thing is accurate there it is 500 okay like I said I forgot how you move this over a decimal point which would even be more interesting but if you think uh, you know you might want to think of this as a portable pre-programmed frequency generator that has 100 percent positive offset so here you have 1865 1865. Now this is definitely within the parameters that uh, Royal Rife, um, you know, said were, was good. So it's 1864. That's less than um, what is that? <laughs> Very small difference. It's probably like 1864.4 or something like that. So it's it's definitely within the accuracy that Royal Rife talked about. Now these frequencies are actually derived from uh, mainly John Crane's work. Uh, so the next one's going to be 20. There's 20. Click it on. Well it's jumping from 8, 464 to 465. Now we go to 20. You gotta let it settle down. There it is. It's frequency 20. So that was frequency 20. Beginning of that mode. Then we go to the second half of mode 3 is 787. So you still see it's showing 20. We click the mode button again. I'm, I'm just going through the beginning of most of the most of the modes because you know you can get the point that this thing is accurate. 787 right on the nose. So you know if you're off the, the frequency is off actually 787, 788 is actually well whatever the heck it is maybe it's a half a point, but that's definitely well within the accuracy requirements that are by Royal Rife. Now this one again, this uses 72 in this mode. There's 122 frequencies, separate frequencies in this um, device, unique frequencies. So the next one, 72 again, you know I'd probably hit that because I hit it before. Diff different mode though. So 72, that's 72. And Rife Mode 4B, 374. Like I said, I don't want to make this video like I could sit here all day and try to go through all the, you know, wait for it to time to the next thing, but I mean, this would be an hours long video. But 374, 374 again, there you go, 374. And the accuracy that Rife required. For, we're going to go to 2489. We we'll click the button again. Uh, he required uh, a twentieth of one percent. So a tenth of one percent, like if you're using 24, like one percent is, um, well, he's definitely within, you know, a twentieth of one percent. 2488, 2489. That's definitely within. That's where it to work very well, according. Let me put it to this well, according to the theory, you know, if you want to say that, because I guess you can't really say this is endorsed by the medical community or anything, but it's definitely within the, the accuracy parameters. And the thing is, you can carry around this tiny little portable device right here and apply the frequencies with the handhelds, the foot pads, or whatever the hell it is. Now, this is the spooky remote I got running in the background. You might hear that. 
So when we go to the next frequency, it's going to be um, right from viral mode 5B, that should be 444. And that's what it shows up, 444. Very accurate, very, very accurate. Uh, so, next one is 464. 464 and 465 are very well known. Rife modes, we'll hit the button again, change the mode. It's got to like think, it's got to like calculate over there. It is 464, right on the nose where it belongs. I mean, if you buy any zapper out there, they don't do this kind of accuracy. This basically is a high quality, pre programmed frequency generator in a highly portable device. 321 is the next one, right? Antifungal mode 6B. It's got to think, let it do its thing. 321. You get you get the idea. This thing is um, now the end. The actual very last frequencies. I think they're like four, three point nine three. I don't have this set with the decimal. I forgot how you set it with the decimal. You read the directions or something. But it gives you it, like I'm just proving to you that it it works. You know. So rife mode. The next rife mode is, is frequency six six six. There it is. Frequency six six six. It's six as it should be. Very accurate. Now this spreadsheet is just taken from the PDF and actually if you look up these frequencies on a consolidated annotated frequency list uh, you'll see that these are the main ones that you know covers most of it so 727 727 you can see that's it 727 the beginning of rife mode 7b and see it goes through all these and it cycles through all these frequencies now the next one's going to be Clark mode 8. That should go to 1000. Now, I never tested, I mean, I just, this is the first time I'm even looking at this. I mean, I didn't check this out before I do it, check this out. I'm, first time I'm doing this. I mean, I'm just going right through it. So, you know, I mean, I'm not even, I don't even know what it was going to do. This is, a, this is raw rehearsal here, baby. So, um, 2174, 20, well, 2175, but that's definitely within, um, you know, the parameters, because I think it's like 1% uh, accuracy would be um, 21 hertz or 22 hertz. A tenth of a 1% accuracy would be 2.2 um, hertz. Um, a twentieth of a percent accuracy be 1.1 hertz, so he's definitely within that, you know. So, and it doesn't mean it doesn't work even if it's off a twentieth of one percent, but that's where it's considered dead on. Okay, so it's considered dead on basically when you're when you got so a frequency that high and it's off by one hertz, it's like nothing, you know. So 2422 in this case it's directly on. 2422, that's the MX mode. 2422 was, was it. Let's see what else. Um, this is going to be for worms. 412. <laughs> that's what they are. <laughs> I don't know what that word meant. It means it's like worms. <laughs> so 412, that's what it is. These are all positive offset. I think these are another types of worms. 440. You get. Only me highlight it so you see what I'm talking Well, you see where, I'm, where it is, where that box is. Right next to it, it's 440. That's, um, it should be coming up. Oh, wait a minute. Did I skip something? Oh, yeah, you know what it is? I got it in the wrong place. It should be 125, see? That's it. 125, that's the beginning of Rife Mode 10B. I meant to say, I, I actually misread this down one line. So when it times to the next... See, that's the beginning of Rife 10B. It is 125, 125. 440, if you, if you let this thing run, it would go to the next one, 440. I'm, I'm just hitting the, the change mode button to show you more quickly without letting it run through each frequency because I'll be here for, like, hours, you know? So that is 125, like I said. Because that's the second one in that set is 440. It'll go to that after that. So when I hit the next mode... It should go to 2720 or within one hertz. 
27, 17, 18. Well, that's uh, within two hertz or two and a half hertz. But then you got to remember that at that, that's 27. Um, the accuracy 15, 1.5. That's about, you know, that's that's very close to Royal Rife perfection, but <laughs> depends on how you look at it. He said either a tenth of a percent or a twentieth of a percent. Depends on who the hell you're talking to. But it's damn well, it's close enough to definitely do the job. So there's nothing that accurate out there. This one is going to be 783. Seven eighty three, you know, virus seven eighty three. There it is. Actually, that's um, um, what do you call that? An ammonia frequency. So that's actually one of those. And then uh, I'm not going to go through the last ones because I have kind of rounded this off. But I'll go through this next one. It's ten thousand. That's a good all round right frequency. Twelve to ten thousand. So well, it's right on or. That's within, God, it's within, a, what, a hundredth of a percent? <laughs> Something like that. Because to be within, yeah, to be within, that's, to be within one percent is a hundred. To be within a, uh, a tenth of one percent is to be within ten hertz. So that's within less than a hundred third percent because it's actually going to one to zero so it's a highly accurate device you know what the hell can I tell you right and these last ones like it'll, what it'll say four four probably sixteen and one because I don't have it to the decimal point I forget how it'll do the damn decimal point because I, I kind of cycle it through real quick on a couple of them when I start but I really didn't check all of them I checked just a couple of them before I started doing this video so Actually, this is the first time you're actually looking at, you know, I never even did this before. I never even checked all these modes. So it is highly accurate. It is within the Royal Rife parameters. Um, and if you believe in the theories, and I know a lot, of, a lot of people that are researchers do, They what they do is they use a, a, a just a frequency generator and it's you know they'll, they'll set it at positive offset but it's a large device and it's got to be plugged into the wall and all that type of stuff this thing you can carry it with you anywhere you want it's as big as a cell phone and you don't have to keep changing the frequencies you just runs it runs off one nine volt battery that's all you got to do so there's nothing on the market the only other one i know of that's this accurate it is also sold by Power Zapper. It's the Power Zapper Mai. So you got the Power Zapper Mai and the Power Zapper Mai Plus. You're probably not even selling. I don't know. Maybe it's just going to be selling the Mai Plus only, I guess. Uh, but because it's so much better, it's got 122 unique frequencies, and pretty much covers the gamut of pretty much most what everybody would need. You know, if you think, I I personally think these theories on this stuff is correct. I realize I went over extensively on other videos about how they derived these frequencies. They were actually dividing down original right frequencies that were much higher hertz, and they divided them down by till they got into a range where they where Crane, John Crane, Royal Rife's assistant, uh, figured it would be effective in a contact mode. And that's exactly what this is. This is a contact mode device. Um, you know, some people don't understand how... To, I didn't understand how they came up with these frequencies not that long ago. Actually, a year ago, I didn't understand how they came up with them. I understood how they came up with a couple of them. But I didn't understand how they got a lot of these. And there is a logic behind what they did. Um, but uh, it's been noted that the contact method is probably your most one of your better methods it's an old standby method the thing is it's got to be accuracy accurate and it also works better if it's positive offset so it's got both of those things accuracy and positive offset I don't know I think this thing is extremely good to tell you the truth so just want to show you the proof that it is highly accurate and um, 
It's very portable. That's the deal. Because when you're trying to do this, if you got to be tied to a machine that's plugged in a wall or a computer that's plugged in a wall and all this other garbage, that makes the contact method a nuisance to use and a problem. When you have a portable device like this, you can just carry with you and use it anywhere, anytime. It makes the contact mode very convenient to do. That's the beauty of this. You don't have to program nothing. You don't have to do anything. You really, you know, you pick your favorite mode. You could set it for your favorite mode. It could start on your favorite mode, whatever one you're looking to address, whatever situation you're looking to address, and let it run. And that's all you do is you hold the handhelds and the foot plates, or hold the handhelds. You use the you got these wristbands. I put a video out on that before, but it is accurate enough to do the job for sure. So just want to prove it. And uh, I looked at a couple of these frequencies before I started the video, but actually I didn't even look at most of them. And this is the first time I looked at them. I'm saying this thing is highly, highly accurate. So. You can't beat it, really. You can't beat it for the money. You can't beat it for the convenience. And it should be very effective. It'd be nice if they endorsed it by the medical community, but I don't know when that's ever going to happen. Not in the near-term future, that's for sure. So, you want to experiment with it? I think it's well worth it, in my opinion. That's my personal layman's opinion. Because it does follow the right theories. It does have the right accuracy. It's made in the USA, it's a five-year warranty, it's very easy to use, it's uh, just take a 9-volt battery. And by the way, I use the 9.6-volt rechargeable batteries versus the standard 8.4 because they seem to last a lot longer. You buy one battery, it'll last you like hundreds of recharges. And, I mean, it's like, <laughs> it's... I mean, it's cheap. I mean, it's cheap to use. I mean, what the hell can I say? I mean, it's, and I think it does do the job. So, you know, if you use it enough. So, anyway, just want to show that world's only zapper that I know of. That it's. I don't even want to call it a zapper. It's a. If you don't want to call it a Rife machine, what you want to call it is a portable frequency generator that's already pre-programmed, that's highly accurate and has positive offset in it already. It's like you really don't have to think much when you use the device. That's the beauty of it. You don't have to program nothing. You don't have to go on the computer. And that's all that type of stuff. So, looks great to me.